Hoss, welcome to Historia's Banan, History of Consons, and follow us back to the early 1950s and watch the steam engines of the, Pens the Pennsylvania Railroad and the famous horseshoe curve ascend to and descend from the summit of the Alleghenies. The curve was completed in 1854 by the Pennsylvania Railroad to reduce the westbound grade and designated a National Historic Landmark in 1966. And please, like, share and subscribe, it means lot to us. Westbound trains climb a maximum grade of 1.85% for 12 miles from Altona to Galitzin. Just west of the Galitzin tunnels, trains pass the summit of the Allegheny Mountains. Work on the horseshoe curve began in 1850. It was done without heavy equipment, only men with picks and shovels, horses and drags. The 31 mile line between Altona and Johnstown, including horseshoe curve, opened on February 15, 1854. The total cost was $2,495,000. Pennsylvania Railroad conductors were told to announce the horseshoe curve to daytime passengers, a tradition that continues aboard Amtrak trains.
after World War II in 1945, the PRR still operated more than 4,000 steam locomotives. During the next 10 years, the PRR began to replace them all with diesels. By the end of November 1957, all steam locomotives were retired on the PRR, but they retained 125 in case they were needed. By the end of 1959, most had been sold for scrap. Fortunately, about a dozen PRR steam locomotives were quietly and with foresight set aside and saved from ending up as scrap. And are now on display at the Railroad Museum in Strasbourg, Pennsylvania. Link to this great museum in the description box below. Finally, an image from 1954 and the celebration of the centennial of the opening of Horseshoe Curve. This night photo shows the curve illuminated with 6,000 flashbulbs connected with 31 miles of wiring. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.